In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brother and sister, fraternal greetings to you from the Carmelite Fathers and warm welcome to Carmel Light reflection on the day's readings. It's the 31st of March. Thursday of the fourth week of Lent. On this last day of March, we remember Saint Guy of Pomposa, a hermit. Saint Guy of Pomposa was born in Italy around the year 1046 and gave everything to the poor. He spent three years as a hermit on the island of Po River. He became the abbot of Saint Severus at the request of Saint Peter Damien. He taught Bible studies for two years. So many were attracted to his teaching, his leadership and his example of the Christian life that his house doubled in size. His father and brother joined the order. Guy finally handed off the administrative elements of his position to concentrate on spiritual direction. He periodically retreated to a hermitage near Ferrara to spend his days in prayer and fasting. Near the end of his life, he was unjustly persecuted for personal reasons by Archbishop Heriberta of Ravenna. He died while on a trip to Piacenza, Italy to advise Emperor Henry III on spiritual matters. Saint Guy of Pomposa, pray for us. Brothers and sisters, let's pay attention to the Gospel reading of the day. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Chapter 5, verses 31 to 47. It's the continuation of yesterday's reading. At that time, Jesus said to the Jews, If I alone bear witness about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who bears witness about me and I know that the testimony that he bears about me is true. You sent to John and he has borne witness to the truth. Not that the testimony that I receive is from man, but I say these things so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. But the testimony that I have is greater than that of John. For the works that the Father has given me to accomplish, the very works that I am doing bear witness about me that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself borne witness about me. His voice you have never heard. His form you have never seen. And you do not have his word abiding in you. For you do not believe the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures 
because you think that in them you have eternal life and it is they that bear witness about me yet you refuse to come to me that you may have life i do not receive glory from people but i know that you do not have the love of god within you i have come in my father's name and you do not receive me if another comes in his own name you will receive him how can you believe when you receive glory from one another and do not seek the glory that comes from the only god do not think that i will accuse you to the father there is one who accuses you moses on whom you have set your hope for if you believed moses you would believe me for he wrote of me but if you do not believe his writings how will you believe my words the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ search the scriptures have you ever picked up your bible read a passage from it and then sat back and wondered what in the world god was trying to say to you it's possible that you may have walked away and decided either that you were spiritually deaf or that the passage did not have any consequence for your life but somewhere inside your heart you sensed that there was something in that passage for you you just couldn't put your finger on it we all know that god wants to reveal himself to us through scripture but just like everything else in the christian life scripture won't just magically make sense to us we need to cooperate with the spirit and that takes some time attention and perseverance The following guidelines can help you hear the Lord as you read his word. Try them over the next few days and see if they make a difference. Select a scripture passage that you want to read. Maybe you will choose to follow the daily mass readings. with the meditations in this audio don't read right away but begin with the prayer if you feel like singing or humming a hymn from mass do it next read the scripture passage you have chosen read it again slowly dwelling on the words or phrases that struck you use your imagination to place yourself in the scene described in this passage imagine that jesus is sitting across from you and telling you this story himself 
be still. During this quiet period, some words or pictures may bubble up in your thoughts. This may be God speaking to you, especially if the images and thoughts lead you closer to Christ, fill you with hope, or stir your heart to love and forgive. Try to write out what you think God is saying to you and close with the prayer of praise and thanksgiving. God wants to reveal himself to us in scripture. Only by quiet reflection will we learn to hear his voice. Holy Spirit, quiet my heart and help me to read scripture with new ears. Let your revelation penetrate my life and guide me to become more like Christ. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the psalm echoes the story of the peoples creating a golden calf and Moses interceding with God on behalf of the people. We hear, then God spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, God's chosen one, withstood God in the breach to turn back the divine destructive wrath. We pray that psalm now. Your response, O Lord, remember us with the favor you show to your people. O Lord, Remember us with the favor you show to your people. They fashioned a calf at Horeb and worshipped an image of metal. They exchanged their glory for the image of a bull that eats grass. O Lord, remember us with the favor you show to your people. They forgot the God who was their savior who had done such great things in Egypt, such wonders in the land of Ham, such marvels at the Red Sea. O Lord, remember us with the favor you show to your people. For this he said he would destroy them. But Moses, the man he had chosen, stood in the breach before him to turn back his anger from destruction. O Lord, remember us with the favor you show to your people. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Today being Thursday, we pray the Novena Prayer to Infant Jesus. And we remember all those who have sent their prayer requests, especially the students who are preparing and writing their exams, couples who are seeking for the gift of a child, families who are praying for peace and happiness in the family, the sick who are praying for good health, the age, the children, those who are traveling, peace in Ukraine, our parents, brothers and sisters, our loved ones, and especially those to whom we have promised our prayers. Novena Prayer to the Infant Jesus In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To be with the children of men is my happiness, says the Lord. Jesus lived among the people as a friend and helped them in their needs. He healed everyone who had faith in him and came to be known as a spiritual physician. 
Here, represented as a child, he stretches out his helping hand to all those who have recourse to him. The more you honor me, the more will I bless you, says the infant Jesus of Prague. Let us pray for our intentions. O holy infant Jesus, through your life on earth, you reveal to us by many marvels your hidden power. So now bless us abundantly with your uplifted hand and graciously deign to hear the petitions of those who call upon you in faith and trust. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O infant Jesus, bless us and hear our prayers. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O infant Jesus, bless us and hear our prayers. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O infant Jesus, bless us and hear our prayers. O miraculous infant Jesus, look upon us as we turn to you, imploring your assistance in our needs and anxieties. Let your compassionate heart be moved to pity by our supplications and grant us the favor which we ardently implore you. Free us from all affliction and despair, all trials and misfortunes. Give us your support and consolation, good health and happiness, so that we may praise you and the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Thanksgiving Prayer O most generous infant Jesus, we on our knees before you, have come to express our deep thankfulness to you for all the favors we have received at your hands. We believe, Jesus, that together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you are our Creator and Savior. Henceforth, we place all our trust in you. Through this miraculous statue, may your devotion be spread throughout the world, and may all people Pay homage to your holy childhood and gain thereby untold divine blessings and favors. All praise and honor be to the infant Jesus. Amen. Let's pray for God's blessing. May the Lord Jesus be with you to defend you. May he be with you to sustain you. May he go before you to show you the way. May he follow you to guard you from above 
May he bless you with the Father and the Holy Spirit who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Infant Jesus Shrine Carmel Hill Mangalore is organizing a Lenten mission Lenten retreat on 2nd and 3rd of April that is coming Saturday and Sunday it will begin at 9 in the morning and will end at 5 in the evening Father Roshan Montero Father Henry and Brother Prakash are going to preach this retreat spread the good word and participate in this lenten mission and we remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays especially brother movin pereira sister teresa margaret both are carmelites velankani pace from telangana wilfred disuza from canada Lavina de Souza from Bailur Murdeshwar wish you all a happy birthday god bless you and we pray for the departed soul of rock rosario from beltangadi baptist de Souza from mira road mumbai and lucas paul de almeida from tottam udupi may the lord grant them eternal rest that's all for today my dear friends have a great day see you tomorrow bye bye